one, it shows kids that doing an experiment is, is fun, uh, you know, and, and I can do it. So that's, that's one important part of it. Another is it's connecting, you know, some of these big challenges. Today's experiment about wind power with, with a real practical problem that we're facing in the U.S. is where are we going to get the energy that we need uh, for, for the future? Today is 4-H National Youth Science Day and across the country hundreds of thousands of young people will be involved in a wonderful, exciting, hands-on experiment to think about how the power of the wind can be translated into energy. Holly Morris is at the 4-H Conference Center in Chevy Chase, Maryland this morning to find out more about this educational event. Holly, good morning. Good morning to you. And you know, here is the deal. Not only is our country falling behind in the fields of science, technology, and math, but our students are shying away from education in those fields and from career opportunities in those fields. And so 4-H is really having this all-out effort. This is the fourth year they've done this to have a National Youth Science Day to make science fun and get kids excited about it and wanting to pursue it. Scissors tape some sheets of paper. Figuring out how to turn these simple items into energy was just one of the tasks tackled by students from several Brooklyn schools during 4-H's National Youth Science Day. Beginning to think like engineers today. The group believes the best way to get kids to think like engineers is to act like engineers. Using the wind to create an alternative source of energy. That's what kids across the country came together to learn about Saturday. The Wired for Wind 2011 National Science Experiment teamed kids from Macon County 4-H with Walmart employees. They become a scientist for a day. The last activity is actually at the site, a wind turbine. So they, they not only know how it works, but where to put a wind turbine. That's my favorite part of science. It really is. You get to experiment. You get to be able to feel how it means to be a scientist. National Youth Science Day is all about inspiring kids to investigate the futures of science and engineering. In 4-H, we know that youth are our future, and it's critical that they're a part of learning what's happening in these fields and how they can use that knowledge for a better world. Georgia 4-H participants are gathering today at the state capitol for their fourth annual National Youth Science Day. They'll be joined this morning by Secretary of State Brian Kemp and University System of Georgia Chancellor Hank Huckabee. Well, some children in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey, learned firsthand how to turn wind into power today. Members of Oceanside Charter School's 4-H program participated in the Wired for Wind National Science Experiment. Organizers say it's important to get young minds excited about science. Youth are our future and they are the ones that are going to be here. So if we can get youth excited about sciences and excited about going to college and learning more, then they can create a better future, a cleaner environment for us. And that's what it's all about. We know that uh, the future of our country depends on uh, science and technology and uh, you know that that can't just start in the schools it has to start in the community and you know we have a great example here of how uh, you know 4-H is a as a community organization that you know understands that education is all of our responsibility. It's important to learn about science because you can use science in your life and if like you want to save energy, you can use a wind turbine. I want to go to school for engineering and mathematics so I can be an aeronautical engineer, which basically means I'll be building rockets and satellites and things. I want to do something with science because I really love science. 